All right, godlings. Good morning. Can't sleep. Can't eat. Can't. No. I was, anyway, I doing a lot of thinking, reading stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Pardon me. I don't have my teeth in. But you know, I like to read stuff. Okay. Conspiracy theories or not, I like to read, think, you know, and I, I, I try to take pretty much any everything for a grain of salt unless I can think about it and really understand it from a couple different sides because there's a lot of stuff out there and you sometimes you just can't pull it apart right but it's always good to kind of hmm, you never know right keep an open mind right so now it's funny because everybody's talking about this supposedly satanic agenda right satanic agenda uh, all these like fires and stuff that, you know it's a satanic agenda what no it's not um, I th don't put that shit on Satan. <laughs> you know, come on, man. Go in the Bible and read. Supposedly, what it said last time, God got pissed off and he flooded the earth with water. Well, he said the next time it was going to be fire. Okay? God said that. Okay? God. God said that. Okay? And then these people are talking about how, uh, you know, uh, like, the people on Trank or whatever is or Xylazine or something, they're sitting there going, and they're talking about zombies, right? Or they're, they're, it's possession. And I kind of understand some of what they're talking about here. But really? Really? A demon is going to come into a, a, a drug-addled person. A drug addict. Okay? A demon now. A demon that's supposedly really clever. Knows how to go in between worlds and shit. Right? But, and usually, I mean, you watch Hollywood, I don't know if it's true or not, but the demons are pretty, you know, oh, man, they're drama. They're, they're like, buzz, you know, they're all big deal and shit, right? So you're telling me these demons that are really smart and crafty and all that, they're going to come in and infest this drug act so they can just sit here and go like this? Really? That's what they want to do? Come on. It's just like on Halloween, like recently they're talking about, and I get the idea, the concept behind it, but I don't think it's as clear cut as people talk about and think about, right? So Halloween, oh, it's satanic, it's devil. You dress up like monsters and you channel that. Like, huh? Doesn't make any sense. If that were true, you know, a couple years ago when everybody's dressed up as Michael Myers, you'd have a bunch of reports about People looking like Michael Myers killing other people, right? Or you'd have devils running around trying to get ladies to eat apples. Or I don't know. But it doesn't make any sense, right? Or, you know, come on, man. Or, oh, yeah, there's all sorts of weird shit. You know, but a lot, of, a lot of this reminds me of growing up. And it's like in second, third grade, and, and someone tried to tell you something. It was stupid. And like... No, and they try to get me, and I, I'm not falling for it, right? And then they get pissed off at me because I didn't fall for it, right? I'm like, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I was like, so, but anyway, and then I don't know if anybody remembers the Weekly World News. There's a good one, right? Like, bad boy found in New York subway, you know? So, anyway, I don't know, maybe that's just true. I had never seen bad boy. Maybe other people said they hadn't seen him. I've never seen him. Maybe he's out there. I don't know. Anywho, but Weekly World News and The Sun and all that, every year it was like almost every year it was going to be the end of the year. Or end of the world, I mean. Every year or or sometimes it was in the middle of the year it was going to end. Or And then after a while they pulled those off the shelf. And I wondered why. I was like, that's, that's weird. I'd seen them forever growing up. They're amusing. No one really believed them. Some people buy them and read them just for entertainment value, right? But then I got thinking, I know why they pulled them off the shelves. They're put it online now. They put it on Facebook. <laughs> that's what it is, I think. But... There is something weird going on. I will say that. I, Cause I, I, sometimes I look too much and I read too much and I get lost in it and I hate it. But as, as, as uh, sometimes I'm like, man, I, I, I don't understand any of this. But I guess I'm trying to make s sense out of nonsense, right? Because what we're dealing with is clearly a narcissistic system. This narcissistic system is what we're under, and that's what it does. 
it'll it'll just throw everything it can at you. It'll accuse you what it's what they're doing. You know, I'm, that goes into another video. All right. So, but anyway, this is funny stuff. I'm watching you know, they're talking about the satanic agenda. And it's like, huh? It's like you know, and in the least, you know, Satan cannot act without permission from God. Okay, so if you all read your Bible, okay. If y'all read the Bible, God killed like a shit ton of people, right? He got pissed off, threw a tantrum, eh, killed everybody. I fuck y'all, you know, got, got pissed off. Satan, he didn't kill anybody. Okay, the only death that could be attributed to Satan was Job, right? But if you read the story about Job, God and Satan kind of had a bet on it, you know? So God allowed that shit to happen. So, and that's what God does to his most loyal followers, right? It's like, ah, oh, let the devil have his way with you, <laughs> whatever. So that tells me, I, I think God and Satan are one of the same. I, I think. I, I'm starting to think that. Like, they talk about Jesus and um, Lucifer, right? Being morning star. And God and Satan, I got thinking, I was like, probably one and the same, right? I mean, seriously, think about it. It's like he's our father, right? That's what dads do. Dad's going to be the best guy in the world, man, after he's home, had a couple beers and doing good, and you got good grades, everything's good, right? All right. Well, boy, you know, uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, when you're waking him up and he's tired, he's not going to be so nice, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know, but... It's all funny. It's all weird. In the least, like, all this stuff is going on that everybody's talking about. I mean, a lot of it can be really frightening and stuff like that. But, I mean, overall, if you remove yourself from all that and look at it, it's fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating that it's just it's just happening. It's just weird. <laughs> um, but, you know, because there's so much more to life than most of us know. I think a lot of people are starting to figure this out, which is pretty cool. Now, the other part is frustrating for me is the whole woke culture, right? We're people like me and other people, like, we've been talking about this stuff for ages, you know? And what did all these other people do? They laughed at us. They called us crazy conspiracy theorists. And now they're talking the same way we were. And, and, and now we're ahead of them. And they're like, oh, you're crazy. <laughs> That's all I had. <laughs>